Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Kohol Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach Vadash, that were honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to take the water toward the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, uh, you know, just to just show the time period that we're in. The days and times that you're living in are, 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 are evil as hell. Now, this says sales of body armor are on the rise. Who's buying and why? So, as you see, this little kid right here got, you know, basically a bulletproof vest. And I'm going to go into the article just a little bit, but let's get a quick scripture. Let's grab a quick scripture up. So lock here. Uh, let's go into Ephesians 5 and 15 real quick. And it reads, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See, you're, you're supposed to be watching and keep your, your head on a swivel, man, and be constantly looking around you. Not all, you know, and that's that's spiritually and that's physically as well. It, it, you know, definitely spiritually, you know, but physically, you know, you might want to be looking around you in these last days. Instead of holding your damn face down in your phone every time you pull up to a stoplight or, um, you know, you're walking with your head down on your phone because it's coming a time now where you can get cracked over your goddamn head, man. <laughs> and it's not going to be hard for a person to do. That's so, how so many people get carjacked as well. They add the light and especially the women, man. We, we like to tell our women, man, hey, be wise. Look out. Matter of fact, go out, do your shopping in the daytime and go ahead and come on home. All that hanging out and all that extra doing all that extra stuff, cut it out, man. You know, it's coming to a time now where things are, are about to get seriously, seriously dangerous out here. And let me grab another one. Let me go into the Apocrypha real quick. Because th this is a commandment that we're supposed to um, watch and pray. And we're, you know, we're warning the flock. This is serious business, man. Second address, um nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and it's a lot of that been going on in the news lately it's just that the other news have been overshadowing it it says in uproars of the people in the world and that's been going on quite a bit, too. They actually have an app where you can see where there is actually um, sedition going on throughout the world. And it's hundreds of them. This is going on globally. It's people that are fed up with the government. They're, you know, the, the prices of everything is getting um, astronomical. They can't afford food. They can't afford um, um, gas. They can't afford just basically to take care of their children, their family. So people are going to bug the hell out. It says... Um, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See, he says, measure thou the time diligently. And so th this is a time where you have to really, what that saying is, and you pay a fucking attention, man. That's why I just read that first one, um, uh, walk ye circumspectly. That circumspect, that word means to, you know, circle basically, to, to with spectacles, like eye, eyewear, glasses. Look, man. Pay attention to the times that we're in. This place is done. And, it, and it's, it's only a matter of time before our Lord comes, man. That's why you got um, Romans 13 and 11. It goes off into, um, matter of fact, let me just get it. So you're living in the very last of days and people are just bullshitting around like nothing's going on. Because the gas is not going to go down. The food is not going to go down. They're going to pinch people to the point of Revelation 13 and 16 coming to pass on their ass, man. Where they want to put that grain of rice in you. They want to put that handheld device in you and joystick you, man. That damn Xbox in your ass and get the joystick in you, man. And and and, and if you know what I mean, that's the MOTB. That's that CHIP, man. Romans 13 and 11, it says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. And this was written 2,000 years ago. So you know we had to be seriously close right now down to the seconds, man. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. 
Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And how do you do that? First off, this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your real nationality. You're, you're the ones that came out of um, Egypt with Moses. You're the ones that signed a contract with the Lord and said, hey, yeah, Lord, we'll do what you said to do. And the reason why we're in the situation that we're in underneath all these damn heathens is because we disobeyed our Lord, started idol worshiping and doing a whole bunch of other damn wickedness. And the Lord is coming to rectify things, man. And he's going to deal with these nations that have dealt treacherously against us. But two thirds of our people going to get that business because they're not going to repent and they're not going to um, listen to the Lord. They're going to be still running around out down here. That's why the scriptures talks about just like the days of Lot, just like the days of Noah. Niggas going to be still eating, drinking, marrying, going out to the strip clubs, having fun, uh, hookah lounges and whatever the hell else is going on where Jake can just do complete damn evil. And they're going to get that business from you. How about Shimei Awasai, man? And, and you, you cast off the works of darkness by repenting to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the father and son. Our Lord is not some white guy. He's not some blonde haired blue eyed white guy. And his name is not Jesus. We go through this all the time in these lessons, man. Because you have to know the true name of the father and the son to actually repent. And those names are important. The letter J is not even in Hebrew. So they wasn't calling our Lord Jesus, man. He was not a Greek. His name is not Jesus. His name is not Yeshua. His name is Yahweh Shai. That's the Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew name that was given to him. That's the name that the angel told him to, told Mary to give him. So you repent in these last days, man. But let's go into some of this story because, I mean, when you see stuff like this, you have to really realize just when you thought you've seen it all, you see a little bit more. The Lord, he's, he's given us everything that we need to see that he's about to come soon. Okay, so now this says retailers and manufacturers of body armor are reporting are reporting increased sales that they are due in part to new customers seeking added protection following the, the recent spate of mass shootings. Representatives of four sellers of body armor, National Body Armor, Spartan Armor Systems, Armed Republic, and U Arm USA Corp, who spoke to NPR, said they saw some rise in sales following recent mass shootings in um, that the, the Texas school shooting, the Buffalo supermarket shooting. It says these businesses believe their customers are looking for more protection in a world that has been feeling increasingly unsafe. After the shooting at Robb Elementary School, parents especially have felt like they need to do something. David Reese, the CEO of Armored Republic, said you can't control what evil people do and you can't control what lawmakers do. But you can buy your own child a backpack with armor in it. You see this shit? These are the days and times that you're living in. These are the days and times. That, you know you're living in wicked days where you got to get your child a bulletproof backpack. Let me get one more, man. Let's go into... Um... And see, the Lord, he spoke, he spoke of all these things. You know, these types of things happening, man, in the last days. Skip Matthew uh, 24. I want to get Matthew 24 and 12, but let's start at three here. Now, this is when the disciples asked the Lord what will be going on in the end days. Matthew 24 and three. And as they sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed, no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Mashiach, or the Christ is the English version of it, but we call him the Mashiach, the anointed one, and shall deceive many. And a lot of that's going on right now, too. It's a lot, of, and especially with a lot of these, these fake-ass pastors, your T.D. Snakes and your Theflo Dollars and your Joel Osteens, but you got actual people out here that have people believing that they are the Lord reincarnated back on the earth, man. It's a lot of that going on. It says... And ye shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. You hear about that all day, all, all day, um, every day. Ukraine and Russia, World War III, um, um, nuclear this, nuclear that, China and Taiwan, you know, Russia uh, uh, bringing troops over to, or to, over to um, Venezuela and all this. See, all this stuff is starting to happen. W wars, rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against the kingdom. That's going on. And there shall be famines 
That's coming real soon. That's already in effect right now. Because see, with this gas going up the way that it's been going up, the, the truckers that's have to, that have to bring in is the food supplies to your local Walmarts, your Targets, your supermarkets, your, your, hell, your Chili's, your McDonald's, your Wendy's, whatever the hell, the prices are going to go up so, so astronomical to the point where it's just going to be like, <laughs> you're going to go into hyperinflation. Then shit going to get where somebody going to stick a damn gun in your back over a, a, a pack of ramen noodles. Your own family going to be fighting against you, man. So all you people that's out here, you got cabinets full of food. You know, you got a uh, water stack to the roof. You got all kinds of canned goods. Ramen. Your family know that you got, it's going to be your family that's going to fuck you over for a lot of that stuff. You see? Because some families are going to get real. When people's rib cage start to show, <laughs> things going to get real. It says, and pestilence. So you already know they're they, 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 they going to come with a whole new set of damn um, diseases for your ass. And earthquakes. Like I said, again, that's going on throughout the planet in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up by the then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. This is for the, the, the elect right here and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. That's going to happen out here because people going to be looking like, oh, well, let me get religious now. But they're not going to get the correct religious, correct religion, so to speak. They're going to be uh, going to be it's going to be droves of niggas that never went to church in their life. Going to jump up and all of a sudden start to believe in white Jesus. See, it says, and this is the point that I wanted to make. And because iniquity shall abound all this damn sin, man, the sin is through the rule. The love of many shall wax cold. And that's the point that I wanted to make on that, because, you know, the love of many them wax cold when you got to get your child a bulletproof backpack. You might as well let them stay at home. You see what I'm saying? But what, what can the people do? They can't they can't stay at home with their children because they have to work two or three damn jobs to try and pay for this high ass gas and food. <laughs> so the so-called white man got you trapped either way. And he's definitely in, in charge of this. Let me see. That's crazy, man. You got to get a bulletproof backpack. Dave Goldberg, the CEO of National, and you know that's a, a small hatter, <laughs> the CEO of <laughs> National Body Armor, said his company experienced a boost in sales immediately following the mass shooting at a grocery store in Buffalo. We've been increasing ever since, he said. We went from having most products in stock shipping same day to now taking four to six weeks. See that? Customers are buying items such as covert bulletproof t-shirts. Damn, I didn't even know they had them and backpacks as well as standard bulletproof vests of various strengths this broader trend is increased body armor sales tracks with the rise in gun sales in the past few years in april 2021 gun sellers across the u.s reported that first-time gun buyers were pushing a surge in sales retailers have also reported boosted boosts in sales throughout the coronavirus pandemic during summers of civil rights protests police shootings and other shootings restrictions on who can buy body armor in the u.s are few and far between people convicted of violent felonies are banned from purchasing body armor but regulatory enforcement of that ta that law is lax <laughs> okay so it goes into a few other things anyway hey man it's a nice little piece of story but and you know these so-called white people got it they got some body armor. These goddamn militias, you know, these these so-called white men that is feeling like they're being replaced. They got that replacement theory. They they have body armor and 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 damn explosives. I just done a lesson yesterday. Um, um, a guy blew his damn arms off uh, with 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 explosives. You know, trying to build an explosive device, so to speak. Cops get to the house. He got a, a damn armory in his house. So it, it's 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 people. See, it's, it's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that are not preparing for anything. The, uh, the, the so-called white man, he's, he's physically prepared with his sword because that's his gift. They were gifted with, with destructive shit. That's their gift. They're gifted with the bow and arrow, the knife, <laughs> the, the, the machine gun, the grenade, the rocket launchers, the, 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 the drone, the atomic bomb. See, that's, that's something that they was gifted with. See, that physical gift that they have, they're going to gonna use it to the T. 
you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all we have is, is our Lord. All we have is our Lord. That's why the scripture says, my servant shall eat. You know, when all this shit hit the fans, it's going to be some real starving ass people out here. And I'm at um, Walmart right now, and, and I'm sitting here in the parking lot doing this lesson. And all you can see that's popping out of their car is a bunch of 300, 400, 500 pound niggas, man. And them, when them niggas get hungry, because Jake eat all day, man. When they get hungry and, and they're not preparing for anything, you got a few Jake that's kind of understanding what's going on. But that's not going to make any difference. And another thing that I wanted to touch on, because as you can see, the little look at the little, little, little Edomite. You got the little Edomite, got on a little bulletproof vest. You see? But that shit ain't going to make no difference when it straight comes down to it. And let me show you why. Because the Lord is in control of, of who lives and who dies. And when that when it happens, you're not in control of shit. So that bulletproof vest is just showing that you don't have faith in your white Jesus. That, that shit not going to mean nothing. And that goes with these camps, too. That's out here at camp with, with, with um, damn ARs wrapped around their shoulders with fucking bulletproof vests on looking like the military. Not going to help you. Not going to help you at all. Just going to get you in more trouble. Because you don't have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And a lot of them are a bunch of damn setups anyway. A bunch of damn, who knows, FBI, CIA, one of them alphabets. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see that? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So if the Lord wants you to die, you out of here. You're out of here. And it goes on the scripture goes off into um let's go to the apocrypha real quick. Ecclesiasticus. What is that? Uh 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they power off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits for vengeance to appease his wrath. And once he shoot that spirit out on your ass, you can forget about it. You're not going to get out of his hands, man. I don't give a shit. You can have a, a, a you can be in a bulletproof house encased in a bulletproof room and in, 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 in a bulletproof bubble inside that bitch with a bulletproof jumpsuit on. <laughs> and, and the Lord still get at you. It says fire and hell and famine and death. See that famine? The Lord uses all elements, man. Weather. You see, death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth, the wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. See that these spirits rejoice in going out and, and killing little kids and babies and pregnant women and elderly and whoever the hell else the Lord uh, uh, situates to die that day, man. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So then you got spirits that's out here sitting around just waiting on an assignment. Can't wait. Joyful. Oh, thank you, Lord. They're not saying, Lord, oh, well, those are babies. No, they're going forth to kill, man. And, and it's going to appease the wrath of the Lord. And the Lord has a lot of wrath, man, towards this wicked ass place called America. And that's why you're starting to see so much craziness in this place, man. That's why you're starting to see it. You know it's crazy as hell when you got to get your baby a bulletproof backpack. You might as well not even send him to school. Hell, you, you might as well go into class and sit next to him with your pistol on you. And just sit, shit, you, hell, just go, just go and sit with your baby at, babies at school. That's crazy, man. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this. Didn't want to keep the lesson long, but hey, man, you're living in some highly wicked ass days. And when things really, really hit the fans, you know who's going to be affected the most? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Why? Because first off, you're not prepared. Secondarily, I mean, well, first off, you won't repent. Because the Lord is flipping this place upside down for, on your behalf. He's coming to for the children of Israel, man. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is coming for his people, the Israelites. He's not coming for the rest of the damn world. The rest of these heathens... They're going into hardcore slavery when he starts his kingdom. Straight up, man. 
So, hey, it's our time to awake out of sleep and repent. You, you can't get no, I mean, if you're not seeing what's going on, he said to be circumspect to watch and pray. What are you watching for? You watching for shit like this? Because all that's next is World War Three and, and, and that, that CHIP they want to put in you. Where you can't buy or sell. And all the elements that are that, that are pushing towards that are happening right now. When the food trucks stop coming, man, they're going to they're going to they're, they're going to have access to the food. But your ass is going to have to be barcoded in somewhere to come and get your little rationing box for the week or whatever. Because it's going to be all out chaos and it's going to come a point where 911 is already certain places with 911. They have a gas budget that, that they're going over their gas budget. They're only going out on certain calls. So it's going to come a point where. Motherfuckers is not going to be able to just be calling 911 on some bullshit. Your, your Karens, you're not going to just be calling. 911. I see a black guy over here. And, you know, you so-called women. I mean, you you women. Oh, my man, he's over here and I think he's got a gun. You know, you done had Jake go. Look, man, they're going to let Jake. They're going to let a bunch of these criminals loose from jail. They're not going to have any choice but to. They're not going to have food to feed these people in them jails. Unless they just leave them in there to starve, man, they're going to let them gates open and be like, hey, look, man, and you best believe, man. Oh, my goodness. People have no idea what's to come. It's going to be a fucking horror movie out here. And matter of fact, you know what? That brings that scripture back to mind uh, that I think about it. Um, Because uh, while everybody is going through chaos, let's see what it says about the Lord's servants. There's that at. Uh, keep getting about with that. Um, yep, uh, right here. Isaiah 6 and 65 and 13. I'm going to start there. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. See that? If you don't repent to Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, you're going to be hungry as hell. You're going to be thirsty as hell and you're going to be ashamed. And it also says, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. See? And shall howl for vexation of spirit. You ever seen a damn uh, 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 wolf howling? Your ass go, Whoa! <laughs> hey man, you don't want no parts of that. Your little pretty daughters, man. At least you men. At least you know if you were to, you know, um, repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, that would at least give your family a chance, man. Not to say that it, it, it's guaranteed, but at least they have a chance. If if you're covered, then the Lord will have you know possibly have um 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 you know mercy on you. You know, and, 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 and look out for your family and keep them from being ravished. Like for real, man, look. All your little pretty little 12-year-old girls, 13-year-old girls, 14, 15, even your little boys. It's going to be animals out here, man, coming to ravish them. And the Lord going to allow it to happen. It's coming. So, hey, it's hot time to awake out of sleep and repent. And all this bulletproof vest shit, they ain't going to get you nowhere. They ain't going to get you nowhere, buddy. Like straight up, <laughs> if the Lord wants you to have a bulletproof vest by his will, you're going to have one. But you best believe that, hey, he's the one that's directing the bullets and skip all around your motherfucking vest, hit you all in the face. So, hey, hey, man, it's high time to awake out of sleep, high time to repent. We're living in the last days and you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man, wake up, man. Wake up because this is all about you. The Lord is tearing the earth up on your behalf because these heathens have his prized possession in their hands, man. And he's coming to get it. He's coming to make them pay for the shit that they've done to us as a nation of people, man, with all the slavery, all the damn hangings. But still to this very day, they're still oppressing the shit out of us. The Lord is coming to make them pay, man. So it's going to be a role reversal in that kingdom. The, 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 the Bible is not what the so-called white man been teaching you all these years with white Jesus got you out here thinking that all you got to do is believe in them and you'll be saved. The hell that looks like, and they the ones 
that's destroying every goddamn thing. But anyway, with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.